Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, A Little Patience. My name is Ashley. Today is Thursday, December 7th and this is Floss Tube 29. And thanks for being here with me today. I was not um, able to film last Thursday. I ended up getting a headache and I wasn't feeling well, so I just uh, rested on last Thursday. So. Um, so I hope you had a wonderful Thanksgiving because my last video was on Thanksgiving and then, you know, we had the next Thursday and now this Thursday. So I hope you had a Thanksgiving filled with memorable moments, smiles and laughter and full tummies. <laughs> and yes, I am glancing down at my notes. So, um, yeah. Um, my Thanksgiving was really nice. I went to my parents' house. Uh, we took all the kids and we had some yummy food. And then I think Saturday we went to my in-laws and spent time with them. Then, um, well, it's been a while. So, yeah, we had some good times. Um, I'm going back to my uh, routine. So I'm gonna start with a previous finish. And I do kind of have stuff um, all um, around me, almost scattered I would say, but uh, so I'm, excuse my reach, I will be having to reach and please excuse my mess back there. It's really hard <laughs> to find time to take care of certain things when they're not a priority. And I have, um, you know, other things I need to do that I think are more important, like spending time with my children. So, <clears throat> so anyway, my previous finish is a Mill Hill kit. Sorry, I'm kind of congested. Um, I am using my ring light today, so there we go. It's called Lion Heart. This is from. I was gonna say sometimes my LNS writes the date on these, but it is a spring collection, and the other ones that belong to this collection were the um, a rubber ducky, a baseball mitt, a tomato pin cushion. Oh, I wish I had that one. The monarch butterfly, which I have, and I have it done, and a firecracker. I don't see the date on this one. Oh, I wish I had that tomato pin cushion. It's so cute. But anyway, these are all stitched on perforated paper. And my birthday is in August, so I am a Leo. So that's why I got this one. I bet you the tomato pin cushions were all sold out for my LNS when I went. This just sits on my um, dresser back there, so it's a little, little dusty. So he's really, um, really got a lot of beads on him. He's very cute and he's got this cute little heart, kind of like the, um, the Cowardly Lion from Wizard of Oz. So there's my lion. <clears throat> okay, so after previous finish, I just have one to show, share with you today. Uh, I'm gonna show you my finishes. So I am almost done with I don't think I, yes, sorry. <clears throat> I am almost done with this. Um, it is all stitched up, but I am using magnets for this one, for the O, for the wreath, just in case I do end up making the, um, the other sets. So it has to sit and dry and um, I haven't touched it yet. I, I did it yesterday. I haven't touched it yet today. And then I need to put them all on the board. So I will share this when it's done. It is done stitched, being stitched, but I need to finish, fully finishing it. But it's very close to being all the way done. Okay, um, let's see. Oh yeah, I also need to make a bow because I'm gonna um, scoop mine all to the bottom so I can have a little bow at the top. And then if I don't want to change that wreath, I can at least maybe change the bow for like the seasons. So, um, oh, I 
did the jingle ball and I finished. So I had finished stitching this in time for class. This was a class by Teresa Kogut and she did the Joy Christmas ornament. I purchased the kit, but I did not use the pipe cleaner to finish mine. And I shared this, I think last night on my Instagram. Um, so I finished, fully finished this. Let me just put these things in my tray. Okay, I'm gonna share it with you so I can go put it on my Christmas tree. Um, and Teresa even shared some other finishes by um, other people during class time. So I kind of, I made mine a vertical ornament and I added some of those beads I got from my um, pin making class, which I did not attend. Um, and that's okay because I didn't have the pins. The pins were shipping late. So I have them now and I'm, I'm excited to make some, but I used some of those beads um, to finish this into a vertical ornament. And it's so cute. I love it. Her, her class was wonderful. She had some technical issues, um, but she made it work and it was great. So I have it all finished, and now that I've shown you, I can go hang it on my tree. Very cute. I love, love how this turned out. So, well, I just, I'm a little worried that this isn't going to be enough to um, hang it. So I'll have to figure that out. We'll see if it works. I'm going to set that down there. Um, okay, so... I also finished my mom's project bag, so <clears throat> um, I came up with this chart for my mom. She loves to iron, she loves to quilt, and sew all the things. She actually used to make a lot of my clothes when I was younger because I was very thin, and the clothes like in stores just didn't fit me well, so um, she would make my clothes for me so I could be comfortable. So I designed the Steam Queen pattern and I will put it on my blog. It's a free pattern when it's, like I have to go back in my cross stitch program and um, fix some of the changes I make. So you have them all like written down there. So um, that's how I do it. I'll, I'll design something and put it in my program, print out the chart for me to work on and then um, as I'm stitching it, I, I'll notice mistakes in my chart, or I want to change colors or placement. So that's, I really like stitching my own designs so I can, um, it's all part of my creative process. So anyway, there's the chart and then I have it all finished and it is on a mesh bag from Fat Quarter Shop. I'll get you a close up. And I used three strands of DMC And I have uh, this little zipper pull for her. And then I also got the, um, this cake was on sale. So I got this for her to, tell me it would fit in here, but it obviously is, it doesn't. So um, the floss I used <clears throat> was DMC 160. And then I ended up changing some of the design on the iron and I used 775, 320. And then this one is discontinued because I think it's like, um, I think the dye they used was not environmentally friendly, but it is 3884 and it was a part of a set with others, and I don't know. So I thought, I'll probably never be able to design with it, so I'll just use it for this. And you can you can find another good gray to go um, to go with these other colors. So, um, so that's Steam Queen. Uh, I'm gonna take a sip of water. I have my spoon in here so I can scoop out all the teeny tiny ice pieces in there. So. In case you're wondering, that's why I have a spoon. So I also finished stitching my candy cane Viscornu for Jeanette 
Yeah, no, not Jeanette Douglas. Janine McGowan of the Blue Flower. She did a class for um, the Jingle Ball as well. And I don't know if I have... Um, I stepped out of my comfort zone for the Jingle Ball and my husband said I should try one of the speed, the whip speed dating rooms and that was a little hard for me. Um, but I did have fun. I had fun at the ball. It was, um, it was a blast and I will probably do it again next year if it works with my schedule. Um, Sunday, so I signed up for the pin making class and I got confused. I thought I signed up for session two, but it was session one. And then I didn't even have my supplies anyway, but I'm really thankful that I can access those videos. I think they give you 30 days. And then, um, and then I did the joy ornament and then the Spiscornu. Um, I watched, um, Oh my gosh, I can't think of her name. Satsuma Street, I think it's Jody. She did a, a class, a free class on finishing, um, using, I don't know, I can't think right now. <laughs> I'm really struggling. Uh, perforated paper, I was not able to watch all of that. And then um, free class by Beth Twist, I think, about making a fairy jar, fairy light jar. I watched a little bit of that. And then um, they had some entertainment in the ballroom and then stitching tables you could sign up for unless they were full. Um, a lot of them were full then when I tried to get into them on Friday night. <clears throat> but it's really fun. You can follow them on Instagram or sign up for um, Lindy Stitches uh, her newsletter, I think, I think is where you can sign up or go check out her website or something. So I did finish my Discordio by the Blue Flower. I got the PDF version, so I did not get, um, the fabric or the floss. So what I did was I went through my stash and since it's stitched on 32 count fabric, I wanted to also try to do everything the same because I've never put one of these together. So I found some leftover 32 count charcoal. And then um, there's the top part. And you see I have my thread all ready to go and then I forgot I need to put on the fusible interfacing. So. I had to find something else to do. And here is the back. This is actually the top, so really it's this way, but they're all the same, so um, it really doesn't matter. I did not have DMC 21 or DMC 22. I don't have those new colors, which is, I'm fine with that. So I chose 3777. Try saying that. Okay, let me show you against um, the front. Okay. <sighs> I'm gonna leave that. So I used 3777. And then the lighter red or pink, I chose 356. Let's see if I can. Um, I really like, I'm, I'm like in love with the colors I chose for this. I think that it's stunning. 3362 for my darker green, 3052 for my lighter green, and then 3865, which is the call for um, white, unless you got the, the over dyed from Cottage Garden Threads, which was exclusive to this. I don't think you can purchase it at all. So I was gonna say something else about this and I forgot. Oh my gosh. I'm losing it. Oh, I will also put, um, I will try my best to put, um, when I finish things, to put them on my blog with the information that, um, like the fabric and the thread and the chart and stuff like that. So um, I'll try to put this on there and my steam queen. And speaking of my blog, um, don't forget I have a free 
chart for you. You can go there. I'll link it below after I upload the video. Um, I'll go on my computer and do it that way. It's easier for me. So this is a free chart. You can get it if you need a last minute ornament. It'll stitch up in no time. It's called Winter Wonderland. So I believe. <laughs> I don't even know. So I just finished this on 40 count tabby cat linen. Lichen. Called Lichen. And um, I bet you it's all DMC. And I just finished it with some some cotton batting and then on uh, just some white fabric on sticky board and I backed backed it with felt so it had a nice finish and I sandwiched the hanging ribbon in between and then just glued the bow on the front so go check out my blog if you'd like the free chart be a cute pillow too and this is really tiny, so you can even do it on 28 count and it would be really nice, or 36, 32, anything. But this is about three inches or so. Let me see. Yeah, just about three inches. Okay, so um, I did that out of order. So let me get back to this one. You. I finished my ornament for my LOLS land of Lincoln stitchers ornament exchange which was very fun um I don't have it to show you I still don't think I've put it on my Instagram so I will post it on Instagram and I will put all my color changes on my blog and I did have my magazine out to show you which one it was but I have seemed to misplace my magazine I'm gonna blame it on my kids because sometimes they come in here especially the baby and he grabs stuff. I thought I had it out. I do apologize. I don't see it anywhere or hiding it under anything. Hmm. Let me just take a quick peek. Nope. It's not behind me. I received my ornament. It's still on the tree but it came in this lovely tin and I got some um, yummy candies. I can't believe I don't know where the magazine is. It's gonna bug me. But I loved it. It was, it's so cute. It's its also from the same magazine, which is the Christmas Ornament Magazine by Just Cross Stitch. Gosh, you guys, it like disappeared. Well, okay, I'm moving on. And then I had a sewing finish, okay? so. I even looked under there and I'm like, it's gotta be right here. I left it out last night. I got everything ready and organized. <sighs> okay. So mine, I stitched up. This one right here and I finished it in a hoop and I did make some changes. So I changed the fabric and the floss and I did not do that white block around the word Mary. Instead, I added the snow that you see like on Christmas and I made all of the letters the same color. I did not make the M's red. And then as you can see right above that where it says December 25th and that deer with the robin, that's the one I received, <laughs> which I think is so ironic or coincidental, whichever word works there. <laughs> so I did, I, I received this one as my ornament exchange and um, it is finished as a pillow and it's already hanging on my tree. So it's lovely. And I really enjoyed doing this stitch along ornament, well, not a stitch along, this ornament exchange. And I think even though I had like a lot to work on this year and I'm stressed out over William stocking, I think I'm going to do it again next year because I had so much fun. So, uh, I knew I had this on my table. Um, I do have the floss colors I used tucked in here, all except one because I'm using it for another project. So, these are the colors I used except, oh, maybe two. I used a black coffee and 
um, bamboo, and I'm using those for other projects, so they're not here. But they, um, it, it's beautiful. I think my ornament turned out so nice, and I, I have to stitch it for myself. It's so pretty. So glad I found that, and I wasn't losing my mind. But back to my sewing project, okay? So I um, follow the Quilted Cow on Facebook, and they do live shopping on Facebook. Wednesday nights, it's live, and then Tuesday, they do two of them. Uh, Monday, I think they do a website live shopping event. And November, they gave away, I think, six sewing machines. No, I did not win any. <laughs> but I did get some kits, um, and I love their kits. So this is called the Ian Book Sleeve. And this one's for my mother-in-law, and I got a kit for myself as well. So I'm going to show you my kit. So it comes with the two fabrics you need. It comes with the, um, there's two different linings also that you need. And it comes with the free pattern. I mean, you can't get any better than that. And they're so... Like her fabric choices are just gorgeous and they come all packaged nicely. So if you like to sew, I highly recommend you go check them out and I'll see if I can link them below. Like, so if I can do this, <laughs> I'm like horrible at sewing. This is like my first like actual technical quilting and um, I think it's beautiful. And then I used Lori Holt's tutorial for her flowers and I crocheted a pretty navy blue flower to go on there. And then um, I asked my mother-in-law what she, like if there were any books on her wish list. And she said, uh, no, just like a, a gift card or um, an experience. We've gotten her experiences before where we take her with, you know, our kids. So they get to spend time with grandma. We've gone to the aquarium and the zoo, tons of places. But this year I just decided to keep it simple. So I got her a gift card. So I'll tuck that in there. And there's like a pocket for glasses or snacks, your phone. And then in the back, um, a book. And my, uh, what is that? Like Iron Flame, the, the new book by, who is it? Rebecca Yaros, Yaros, it fits in here, just barely, but it's, it's, you know, it's got a lot of room. And in the kit, you can actually make two smaller and one big one, so I'm really thrilled. I actually have fabric left over, and I was thinking of making her, sorry, um, an, an eyeglass pouch, like a, a case, fabric case for eyeglasses, because I got one for myself, and that, um, this also comes with the free pattern, so I thought about, if I have time, making that for her too. If I don't have time, I will, excuse me, eventually get around to it. So, I need to, my legs are falling asleep. So I just love it. It's so cute. I can't wait to make mine. I think I did an awesome job on this. I'm very impressed with myself. I even got that covered button, like, right on that flower here. It's sideways. It was hard to put on, but like through the safety pin, it was hard to pin it. So it's sideways, but it's so pretty. I love it. And I hope she loves it too. So, okay. I need a sip of water. Ugh, lots of talking. That was another thing for the jingle ball. Cause I'm not a huge talker. So I just kind of just sat there and listened so you know it's not because I'm being rude it's just because I'm shy so um those are all my finishes and then I am going to move on to whips slash goals so my goal is to fully finish my Viscornu fully finish home is where the wreath is I want to try making some decorative pins and then Willie stocking. Okay, so just to show you what it will look like, sort of, because I did make some changes. I'll go back to 
Um, this is in my Joan Elliott book. I don't know when I got it. It's from 2011. <laughs> um, this is going to be William Stocking, and you guys are going to be blown away. And I'm not going to show it to you again until it's all finished. So, okay. Oh, my light cord is sliding. And this is stitched on 14 count white Ada. I'm going to stand up for this one. It's all stitched. Ah! <laughs> okay. It's so pretty. I finished his name. I got it charted, stitched it. It's, it's easier for me to chart it so then I can easily, uh, quickly find the center. So I got the top band and then I did post that beard <laughs> on Instagram. That was so much white and light gray. Oh my gosh. And that gold metallic thread, I hate it. I hate it so much. So as you can see, all I have left to do is all the lovely back stitching. In fact, I need to do this side of the stocking, the outside, the border. And there are some French knots and there are French knots in um, this little tuft of fur here on the end of his hat. There's French knots here and there's French knots here. I'm trying to, and probably down here as well. But instead, I'm gonna use these Mill Hill Petit Glass Beads. And then I'll use French knots for like the teddy bears, um, some of the toys, and anywhere else that needs them. But just for Santa's clothes, I'm gonna use the tiny beads, so. It's so beautiful. I'm just slowly. I love that Santa sack. Can you see the beads I used in there? It's so pretty. And the metallic. And I have some on the Christmas tree already. So I'm so excited. I really feel like I'm going to get this one done in time <laughs> this year. <laughs> So I'm not going to show this to you again until it's all finished. So I'm going to roll it up. You guys can see my lovely back. I did hear somewhere that um, like for antique samplers, they hold up better if you carry your threads. I found it very interesting and it also kind of makes sense because you have that support in the back. So what I'm trying to say is it's okay to have a messy back. Nobody's going to see it. Nobody's going to know. So I'm really excited about that. And um, I can't wait to get it done. So um, next is haul. And I don't have any, but I did download all the free patterns from the Jingle Ball. And I did order some um, charts as well. Guys, look at how thick that is. Some of these are like two to a page and double-sided. There was so much. So if you just, it's $10 for the ball, you don't have to take a class and there's just so much you get for your money's worth. So I highly recommend it. And you can do it from the comfort of your own home, which is really nice if you have small children and it's hard to find time to do things for yourself. So. Um, stuff is falling. <laughs> so I also ordered Teresa Kogut's, I think it's Santa Delivery, and she worked with Chantal of um, 141 Design Company with the stands, and they're like these cute little Santas riding on reindeers, and they're like jumping through the sky. So I ordered the, um, the chart and the, the stands. So I'll have those for next year. I'm not... After a wheelie stocking, I'm probably done with Christmas stitching. So, um, that's my haul. And then, um, 
in my Instagram, I hinted at a giveaway and I have a new chart. So, I'm almost done. I have a new release and it's also going to be a giveaway. So, I put it in my Etsy shop yesterday. I really took a really good nap, so I was able to get quite a lot done. I think my printer might need more ink. This is why I only offer PDF charts because um, I'm not at that point where I can like either purchase a fancy printer myself or take it to a place to get printed. So um, personally, I do like having physical copies. So um, I understand it might be frustrating when that's all the designers offer, but that's my reasoning behind it. It's not worth it for me yet. So, um, anyway, this is Quilting Blocks Christmas Garland. And I did mention that I was going to stitch this on a higher count and turn it into a pillow with a crocheted edging, and I just didn't like it. So I, I stitched the whole thing. I got a, around to doing the border, and I just couldn't do it. I didn't like it, so I'm just sticking with this one for now, and it's super cute. And of course, I already have it hanging up, so I don't even have it on my table to show you. <laughs> That's really bad. Okay, so this is the next set of festive quilt blocks. They're stitched in a bright Christmas palette. So I have them buried. I used Tennessee red clay. Geranium, Tiny Vine, which is like my favorite. I think that's easily my favorite color, green. Snowball, which is, there's not a lot left there, but it's a white. And then Pine. And as you can see, I use Gentle Art and Classic Color Works. So the colors can be easily switched out to fit your decor for any season, stitch them all together or individually. Uh, these are a different quilt block set than my first one, than Autumn Acorns, so they're all different. And um, I will be doing one for spring as well. I think I'll even do like a winter blue one because I think that would be really pretty. And um, a summer one, maybe, maybe a summer one. So. The model is stitched using one strand of floss for a cross stitch on 36 milk and honey by fiber on a whim over two threads. And I already told you the colors. Um, stitch count is the same as the last set, 25 by 25 with, when stitched on 36 count. That brings it to about one and a half inches for each block. Okay, so the design has been mounted on wooden Christmas tags from Michaels. These right here um, that I painted just using acrylic paints. I tried to match this light pink right here. Well, coral pink. Uh, the tags are then tied onto a torn fabric garland light string with golden reindeer, which is also from Michaels. So, I will be giving away, it's a lot, okay, so get ready for it. I will be giving away the chart, and it is a colored chart. All my charts are in color, and um, if you don't prefer color, you prefer black and white, just send me an email. I can quickly make um, make changes to my program and save it in black and white. And that goes for any pattern. Like if you look at my Etsy shop and you find something you really like, um, but you don't want a color chart, just send me an email or a message on Etsy. But let me show you. It's a color chart. My printer's not the best, but um, it shows up really nice on your computer screen. So the giveaway winner will win the paper chart
four tags, the same ones I used, the Christmas tree. Oh, it's backwards. <laughs> oh, they're all mixed up. The Christmas tree, it just has a sticker on the back. The snowflake, the Santa, and the candy canes. Those are the four that I used. Okay, so chart, tags, lights. These are so pretty um, when you turn them on because they're battery operated. You need two AA batteries. The, uh, the lights shine through the reindeer and it's so gold and it's just so pretty at nighttime. So, and, okay, so chart, <laughs> tags, reindeer lights, and my fabric. <laughs> I had so much left over and I think there's plenty here. Um, that you may have left over as well. So that is what the winner will receive. That's a lot, you guys. So that's a good one. And it's really quick stitching, um, easy to put together, easy to finish. And in order to enter, you need to like the video, be a subscriber, and leave me a comment telling me your favorite Christmas cookie because I just realized today I need to get my family's Christmas cookie wish like everybody gets to pick one cookie that I'll bake and I realized today I haven't even thought of it so you tell me your favorite Christmas cookie in the comment I'm gonna actually go get it real fast well not too fast but I'll be right there I'm not going too far Okay, I do apologize. I completely forgot to grab it. And I do have them hanging on my my husband's grandmother's mirror. So having the lights on there and the garland is just so pretty. So here it is. It's all finished up. And I did. I turned the lights on. So there's two of them right there. And I tied them on with this like baker's twine, but it has glitter in it. I can't remember where I got it from. You could use anything. And I, I did mine, um, my fabric strips different. I like looped them in half and then looped it around the string instead of tying it on this time. <clears throat> Here is another one. And the fourth one. And it's just so pretty when you when they're hung up on on the mirror and you can even just make them individually like this and um, make them as Christmas ornaments It'd be very cute too I'm trying to get them all in there but they won't get in there okay so I'm really excited for that one that's a pretty big giveaway for me I think okay so like the video, be a subscriber, tell me your favorite Christmas cookie in the comments, and you will get the chart, the tags, the fabric, and the lights. That's a lot. That's gonna, that's gonna cost a lot for shipping. Um, so thanks for being here with me, you guys. I'm done for now. Um, be sure to like and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at a little patience xs all of my social medias are just slightly different so it's hard for me to remember them all um go ahead and visit my etsy shop i have some really cute christmas um items and winter items so charts uh next week i will next thursday i will do a christmas finishes parade in front of my christmas tree um, and I'll show off some of my amazing, cute, available charts in my Etsy shop. Um, uh, doo, doo, doo. And I think that's it. So I think I'm going to tidy up and start working on William's stocking. So I'm pretty much going to work on that exclusively. And then Thursday I'll do 
Christmas finishes and then the following Thursday, I don't even know what date that is. If it's too close to Christmas, it might be a while until I see you. So be on the lookout for another video so you can see if you won the giveaway. Ah. <laughs> All right, so I think that's it. I do feel like I'm missing something, but um, I don't know what it is. So uh, happy stitching, you guys. I hope you stitch something that makes you feel happy and brings you joy. And um, it's beautiful today, so if you have time, get outside. Because, you know, this video is going to upload like that. I have high hopes. So, bye everyone. Have a good rest of your day. It was really nice spending some time with you.